have everyone's attention, please. We'll be starting shortly. Please move to your seats. We have a visitor, and we have to make sure that we are in compliance. Thank you. Please take your seats as we are ready to begin. Please take your seats. Please take your seats, please. Well, good afternoon to everyone, and welcome to the joint exercise for conferring of degrees of Howard University College of Dentistry and Howard University School of Social Work. We are grateful for your being here. We know that you have gone a long ways to be able to be here. Some of you for certainly the College of Dentistry, four years. For the, for the School of Social Work, two, maybe three years. And we know that this is an important time to be able to give thanks, and we want to help in celebrating with you. We want this to be a joyous occasion for you as well. We have a program that uh, hopefully is uh, short and sweet and to the point, and we would uh, like to make sure that everything works well. Uh, we have, of course, uh, this is a live streamed event. And so we want to make sure that everyone knows that, if at all possible, please remain in your seats. Obviously, if you need to uh, use the restroom or other facilities, please uh, step outside to be able to uh, do that. Uh, please also uh, have your cell phones on vibrate, please, or have them turned off so that that does not impede uh, the program. Uh, so as we begin for this afternoon, I think that this is a joyous event for not just the usual reasons that this is the conferring of degrees, but it's also a joyous event because it means that this is the time that you are going to be able to go forth into the world and do some amazing things. And your degree gives you another opportunity to do that. We have a wonderful program for you, and so we'll get right to it. Uh, first, you need to know who I am. My name is Dr. Robert Cosby, and I will serve as your Master of Ceremonies for today. Uh, we have a program that I believe should be uh, uh, able to, I will introduce each of the people before they come up to speak. Uh, we will have our president and our provost joining us uh, shortly. Uh, and so uh, we also know that that means that you actually want to officially have your degree conferred, and so that will be the opportunity to do that. And so uh, I want to start things off by being able to uh, certainly bring on the first of our deans, 
And so I would introduce to you uh, Dean Andrea Jackson, uh, Dean of the College of Dentistry. I think for all of you that know a little bit about her, you know, you know that she uh, bleeds blue. She is a Howard University person through and through. She did her Bachelor of Sciences degree in zoology. Uh, she has a Doctor of Dental Surgery degree, a DDS also from Howard University. Completed a certificate in general dentistry at the Howard University Hospital and a certificate and Master of Science degree in prosthodontics uh, from Georgetown University School of Dentistry. Uh, for over 30 years, she has been involved in Howard University. And so I uh, want you to help me in joining with a warm welcome for her in her capacity as dean and telling you, uh, giving you, offering you greetings. So uh, please uh, welcome Dean Andrea Jackson. Thank you, Dr. Crosby. Good afternoon, platform guests, Provost Wutah, faculty, family, staff, friends, and most importantly, the graduates. Welcome to the commencement day at Howard University. Every one of you have made an impact on the graduates who sit here today. I am excited to be sharing the stage and this moment with my colleague and friend, Dean Sandra E. Crew from the School of Social Work in this degree conferring ceremony. I'm especially proud of our College of Dentistry graduates, knowing what you've been through and what you have had to overcome over this past year. At the College of Dentistry, we believe in interprofessional education and the benefit of collaborative care of our patients. It is befi very befitting that Dean Crew and the graduates of Social Work and dentistry join in this celebration today, as I hope you will lean on each other's expertise in the future to provide the best possible outcomes to advance the overall health and well-being of our citizens and your prospective communities. Graduations and commencement ceremonies mark life-changing transitions. It is when we celebrate all the hard work that you have put into your education and achievements and look forward to the future. Through the years of school, you've made new friends, developed new skills, and discovered new things about yourself. Over the past 16 months, we have all been stricken with the pandemic and witnessed the tremendous social unrest and protest. These experiences have impacted and shaped us all in many ways. But through it all, you persevered and stayed the course, and you have now finished the race. This is the beginning of a new chapter. What I am sure of is a Howard University education has provided all of you a solid foundation to impact the world and meet the many challenges that you will be faced with. Through, though we all would love for this ceremony to have been different, remember this is your time. It may not feel normal to you, but there really is no normal at the present time. There's a constant change and we must rise to the occasion to ensure that the changes are for the betterment of society. Your degrees will be conferred today and we are here to honor your accomplishments. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Jackson. Well, you heard about the first half of, uh, of why we're here, and that's for the College of Dentistry. But now I want to be able to introduce to you the other half, which is the School of Social Work. And so I want to introduce to you Dean Sandra Edmonds Crew, Dean and Professor of the School of Social Work. She has uh, a lot of background that you may uh, be familiar with, some of you. Research, scholarship, public advocacy, areas of caregiving, kinship care. She holds both a uh, bachelor's and master's degree in social work from 
the National Catholic School of Social Services at Catholic University of America, and a PhD in social work from Howard University at the School of Social Work. She is a member of uh, ACSW, Academy of Certified Social Workers, is recognized by the National Association of Social Workers as a social work pioneer. Uh, her background is extensive, as is Dr. Jackson's. Uh, we are glad that she is here with us as well, and so please join me with a warm welcome for Dean Sandra Edmonds Crew. President Frederick, Provost Wuta, my colleague Dean Jackson, and platform guest. Greetings, everyone. I am so pleased to be here with you. I am especially pleased to join my colleague, Dean Andrea Jackson, as we share this celebration of graduates from the School of Social Work and the School of Dentistry. To my colleagues in dentistry, I extend a special social work congratulations to you. And to all the supporters who have joined us today, either in person or virtually, we appreciate you so very much. And to my social work graduates, I greet you and look forward to this celebratory event, conferring of the Master of Social Work degree, the Doctor of Philosophy degree in social work. As I stated yesterday, at our virtual ceremony. In the words of our founding dean, Dr. Annabelle Burns Lindsay, you are indeed second to none. And in the words of the late John Lewis, you are destined to make good trouble. What a special honor to have President Frederick join us and confer the degrees today. He too is Howard prepared and understands the social justice responsibility that comes with this distinction. I especially acknowledge the dedicated leadership that he and Provost Wuta have shown during this time. Graduates, you have followed different pathways to reach today's destination of being conferred as a graduate social work degree. But today, you are forever united by the special moment in time and your extraordinary academic achievement. As you have heard me say many times, Social workers are built for times like this. As you, you are essential workers every day. Every day, social workers are essential because we make a difference in the lives of individuals, families, and communities. To every student assembled here today, I greet you with the heartfelt gratitude because you chose the Mecca and invested in becoming a Howard prepared professional. Thank you very much, Dean Crew. We now move ahead to our next part of the program to actually talk about our recognition of honors. And so to help us in doing that, we have Dr. Tracy Whitaker. Dr. Whitaker is a integral part of our School of Social Work. Uh, she is the person who is the Associate Dean for Academic and Student Advancement and has been a stalwart here. Uh, she also has a degree from Howard University School of Social Work, and we are grateful that she is here to be able to, uh, to direct our, our honors at the School of Social Work. Uh, please join me in welcoming Dr. Tracy Whitaker. Thank you, Dean Cosby. 
Good afternoon. We will now acknowledge graduates who are receiving special recognition for their accomplishments in the School of Social Work MSW program. The graduates who achieved perfect cumulative grade point averages of 4.0 in the Master of Social Work program in the class of 2020 are Elise Morrison and Jasmine Lewis. The graduates who achieved perfect cumulative grade point averages of 4.0 in the class of 2021 are Caleb Balkman, Emmy Cohen, Alexandra Mack, Francia Maran Gutierrez, Suzanne Niaga, Imani Smith, Markayla Warren, Taylor Watts, and Serafina Woolridge Burns. The graduates who achieved cumulative grade point averages of more than 3.90 on a 4.0 scale in the class of 2020 are Muhammad al Hadeh, David Belton II, Larry Evans, Cindy Martin Frias, Shaylin Kenny Ivory, Olivia Lakes, Shoaregged Philpotts, Mariah Rivera, Sarah Sullivan Ross, Paris Simmons, Jennifer Valdivieso, Kelly York, and Taryn Shore. The graduates who achieved cumulative grade point averages of more than 3.90 in the class of 2021 are Christina Cow, Zena Charles, Adam Chavis, Tasia Colin Martin, Kiara Lucas, Natasha Leak, Asia Lee, Alexis Lee, Julia Nina Mitty, Noella Muller, and Leah Swa. Howard University School of Social Work is the home of the Etta Etta chapter of the Phi Alpha Honor Society a national honor society for social work students. Dr. Altaf Hussein serves as the faculty sponsor and advisor for the chapter. The members of the Phi Alpha Honor Society in the class of 2020 are Muhammad al Hadeh, Timmy Topi Asherobi, David Belton II, Monty Bush, Felisa Concepcion, Kalina Dorns, Waikago Ekuabu, Larry Evans, Sierra Ford, Cindy Mart, Mart Frias, Kevon Harris, Shaylin Kenny Ivory, Jasmine Lewis, Tevin McDonald, Elise Morrison, Danera Nathan, Trulisa Newberry, Shoa Regard Philpotts, Ayo Porte, Mariah Rivera, Sarah Sullivan Ross, Paris Simmons, Simone Solomon, Sierra Wheeler, and Kelly York. The members of the Phi Alpha Honor Society for the class of 2021 are Florence Amakwa Asante, Caleb Balkman, Christina Cow, Cortez Carey, Zena Charles, Adam Chavez, Emmy Cohen, Tasia Colin Martins, Devanya Flight, Naja Franklin, Milton Gabanda, Jasmine Lamboy, Shatira Landrum, Natasha Leak, Asia Lee, Alexis Lee, Kiara Lucas, Alexandra Mack, Tony Manigault, Francia Marin Gutierrez, Julia Nina Mitty, Maya Miller, Suzanne Niaga, Corinne Patterson, Janice Pilgrim, Joshua Rora, Araceli Salvador, Imani Smith, Leah Swa, Kristen Taylor, Ladrea Taylor, Taylor Watts, Serafina Woolridge Burns, and Jadicia Ryder. The Founders Fellow in Graduate Social Work Education in the School of Social Work is our highest academic honor. The 2020 Founders Fellow was Ms. Trulisa Newberry. The 2021 Founders Fellow is Ms. Alexandra Mack. The Inabel Burns Lindsay Scholar for the class of 2020 was Ms. Veltiandra Cotton. The Eva M. Stewart 
Field Education Exemplar Award is presented to students that excelled in field education. The 2020 Eva Stewart Field Education Exemplar Award recipients are Monty Bush and Deshonda Hayward White. The 2021 recipients are Adam Chavis, Fabian Simeus, Kiera Lucas, and Suzanne Niaga. The Student Service, the Student Leadership and Service Award recipient for the class of 2020 was Ms. Io Porte. The Student Leadership and Service Award recipient for the class of 2021 is Ms. Tony Manigault. The Dean's Distinguished Graduate Award recipient for the class of 2020 was Mr. David Belton II. The Dean's Distinguished Graduate Award recipients for the class of 2021 are Ms. Sherlena Hanna and Ms. Angela Harrison Michener. Congratulations. Dean Whitaker. Now I'd like to call to the to the podium, please, uh, Dr. Cheryl Fryer, the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs at the College of Dentistry. Please join me in giving her a warm welcome. Good afternoon, President Frederick, Provost Rutal, Dean Jackson, Dean Crew, Associate and Assistant Dean, faculty, staff, students, and most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2021 and their incredible families who may be watching from afar. To the class of 2021, you all have come a long way together. And whether you realize it today in this COVID new normal or not, your future is strong in the foundation provided to you by Howard. Do not lose sight of that or forget the family that you will leave behind here at the university. We will miss you, but we'll always be there for you. It brings me great pleasure to present the 2021 inductees into the Omicron Kappa Upsilon National Dental Honor Society through Pi Pi Chapter. You join a history of brilliant scholars on whose shoulders we stand. A brief word about OKU. In 1914 at Northwestern University School of Dentistry, Omicron Kappa Upsilon National Dental Honor Society was founded with the purpose of encouraging scholarship and advancing the ethical standards of the dental profession. Omicron Kappa Upsilon honors students faculty members, and honorary members for academic excellence and professional character. The mission of OKU is to encourage and develop a spirit of emulation among students in dentistry and to recognize in an appropriate manner those who shall distinguish themselves by a high grade of scholarship. Members are selected from among the top 12% of the graduating dental class who show potential for professional growth and serve as examples among their peers. The inductees for Pi Pi Chapter of Omicron Kappa Upsilon National Dental Honor Society from the class of 2021 are Lisa Marie Agni, Natasha Baruka, Priscilla Carpenter, Brandy Evans, Cassandra Moran, Kanichi Okani, Erica Rivera, Matthew Stevens, Nancy Trang, 
and Claire Wason. From the faculty of the College of Dentistry Pi Pi chapter, we recognize Dr. Craig Butler, Department of Prosthodontics, as the inductee for the year 2021. <laughs> 2021 inductees, your charge from the society is to continue to distinguish yourselves in the field of dentistry and maintain a high level of scholarship and integrity in all future academic and career endeavors. We offer our sincere congratulations to you all today. Thank you. And so we'll move on to the next part of the program. Uh, Dean Jackson, if you would please come forward as an uh, opportunity to introduce our next speaker. Uh, Dr. Anthony Wukha. Uh, let me uh, do that, uh, that introduction. Uh, many of you know uh, Provost uh, Wukha, uh, you should. Uh, he is our uh, Chief Academic Officer and Provost for the uh, university here at Howard University. And we're grateful to him as, as he has been able to come along with uh, President Frederick to speak to us uh, in, in his role as uh, provost and, and uh, chief academic officer to offer greetings. Uh, we, you should know that, uh, that Provost Wuka has uh, been in this role, is a pharmacist by background, uh, and is uh, someone whose uh, uh, pa parent is also a social worker. And so I think that he has, uh, has certainly uh, been able to share his experiences, his expertise, and uh, his uh, affinity with the School of Social Work. And so we're grateful to him for his being able to come and join us today. And so please join me in welcoming our provost, Anthony Wuta. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. This is a very quiet, respectful crowd. It is certainly my honor and my pleasure to bring Greetings on behalf of the entire faculty and the Howard University community and to congratulate the class of 2020 and the class of 2021. I'll be very brief in my, my comments. I want to congratulate each of you not only for this occasion of your um, commencement, um, but specifically because as graduates of the School of Social Work and the College of Dentistry, you have chosen to enter into healing professions, into professions where the resolution of human suffering is going to be part of your responsibility for the remaining of your career. As Dr. Crosby had mentioned, I feel that I have a special connection both with the School of Social Work and with the College of Dentistry. Uh, between my wife and I and our two daughters, um, we see three dentists, all of whom are Howard University graduates, and I'm glad to make sure that I'm contributing to the payment of their student loan debt um, when I happily write checks for my, my daughters and their cavities and other um, dental care. Uh, my mother's first profession was as a nurse, and while she was raising five children, she went back to earn her Master of Social Work degree. And so I was raised by a social worker, and as a result, I have high expectations of what social workers do, um, the caring that they, they share, and the intent that they have to make a significant impact in the lives of others. And so I certainly want to thank you for what you're going to embark in. Obviously, this has been a very challenging year and you're entering into a world faced with great troubles. We're in the midst of the greatest pandemic in over 100 years. There's been a social justice concern and a systemic racism reckoning 
throughout this country, and there have been challenges even to the American democracy. So you face great challenges, but I'm fully confident that your Howard University education and your Howard University degree have prepared you for any challenges that you're going to face. Congratulations again, and God bless. At this time, it's my honor and my pleasure to introduce the 17th president of Howard University, Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick. Dr. Frederick is a three-time alum of the university where he received his degree in zoology, his medical degree, and also an MBA from the School of Business. So please join me in welcoming President Frederick. Good afternoon, everyone. I agree with Provost Luther. This is the little quiet group. Let's try that again. Hello. How's everyone doing? All right. This is still a graduation ceremony, so we're going to make some noise as we confer degrees. Agreed? All right. That sounds a little better. First, let me thank um, Dean Jackson and Dean Cruz. The both of them have been through the fire, as it were, this past year, trying to make sure that we can deliver an education in the best way possible. And while there's a lot that we have learned through the pandemic, their resilience and grit uh, has to be commended. So let's take an opportunity to give them a round of applause and thank them for all they do. Because of the nature of this event, we can't have our faculty here in the numbers that we usually do. And so I also want to take an opportunity for us to acknowledge our faculty who have worked uh, fastidiously over the course of the year as well to make sure that we can get through this academic year. So let's give them a round of applause as well. Your family members and loved ones are looking at this uh, via live stream, and I'm sure uh, they are very, very moved, and at the same time, also very saddened that they can be here uh, in your presence to hug you as soon as you uh, walk through those doors. Nevertheless, that doesn't lessen their gratitude and their appreciation for all that you have done to get to this point. So let's give them a round of applause and make sure that they can hear us. Let's make a lot of noise for them and thank them. <laughs> And we thank uh, our guests for joining us today. I wanted to take an opportunity to uh, thank our, our guests, our keynote speaker, Dr. Joyner, the President of the National Association of Social Work Workers. I want to thank Dr. Joyner for joining us today. So if you could give her a round of applause as well. Appreciate it. And for dentistry, we have Dr. Alston here, President of the National Dental Association, Dr. Cheryl Batiste, Robert uh, from the Robert Freeman Dental Society, the president, Dr. Basiri, the president of the District of Columbia Dental Society, Ms. Hanang Jang, the president of the District of Columbia Dental Hygienist Association, and Dr. Dundre C. Simpson, the president of the Howard University College of Dentistry Alumni Association. Let's give them a round of applause and thank them for their continued support. As you've heard from many speakers and as you'll hear over the course of the next few uh, days and weeks as people celebrate uh, what you've achieved, uh, we are living in trying times. There's no need for me to outline and, unscore that, uh, and underscore that. All of you have had your own experiences with this. But what I want to underscore, though, is that regardless of what the numbers show, of how many people have gotten, have gotten this virus, how many people have passed, how many people are hospitalized, how many people are vaccinated, how many people are hesitant about that vaccination, you will see people one-on-one, -on -one. and your role, regardless of what else you have to do with the education that you've received, is to amplify their humanity, to meet them where they are. Uh, certainly, this pandemic has shown us how interconnected we are and how dependent we are, and how sometimes when we think of people as the less of them, they actually are the most of what's important to each and every one of us. 
So I encourage you that as you go about the busyness of your day and as you're pulled in so many different directions as you will be, that every time you step in front of that patient or in front of that person who needs uh, your advice and your assistance, that you would slow yourself down enough to look that person in the eye and amplify their humanity, to recognize that their circumstance, regardless of what it is, does not determine their ultimate outcome. And that you have every opportunity to change the course of their lives every single day, every single person that you will see. I also want you to take time to take care of yourselves. You will have lots of demands on yourself. You'll be pulled in many different directions. And while your patients are important, you are just as important to us. We want you to thrive. We want you to be passionate about what you do and to enjoy your work. But we also want you to take time to rest, to take time to pause, to take time to rejuvenate and regenerate your spirit because it is a long road for you to travel and we want you to travel it in the best way possible. You are the solution to America's problems and you are the best solution that there ever can be. So I encourage you to enjoy not just this day and this moment, but to celebrate it appropriately. I know there are many of you in here who are mothers and I also wanna wish you a happy Mother's Day as well and to make sure that you can celebrate with your family in the best way possible. I also recognize that I stand between you and officially graduating. So I'm gonna stop right here and underscore my congratulations. And I'm gonna do something a little different to what I see in the program. I'm gonna ask, uh, first I'm gonna start with Dr. Jackson and her team. I'm gonna ask them to present the graduates for the dental school uh, so that I could do that. And then subsequent to that, I'm gonna have Dean Kuhl do the same for those in social work. And one, there's just one last rule of thumb. Every empty seat here, we have to make up for the noise that they would have made. <laughs> so by my estimation, you guys have about three or four noisemakers to produce. We are gonna celebrate like this room was completely packed because what you have done under these trying circumstances must be acknowledged, okay? All right, here we go. In the College of Dentistry, the candidates will be presented by Dr. Andrea Jackson, DDS, Dean. Will the candidates for the degrees and certificates from the College of Dentistry please stand? Mr. Mr. President, upon recommendation of the faculty of the College of Dentistry, I have the honor to present these candidates to receive the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery and certificates in dental hygiene, advanced education in general dentistry, general dentistry, oral and maxillofacial surgery, orthodontics, and pediatric dentistry. You guys want the degrees? You guys interested in getting the degrees? <laughs> how, how much you want these degrees? I'm not hearing the noise. All right. <laughs> Candidates for the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery and Certificates in Dental Hygiene, Advanced Education in gen General Dentistry, General Dentistry, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Orthodontics and Pediatric Dentistry, Upon recommendation of the dean and faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Howard University, I do now confer upon you your degree and certificate. With all the rights, privileges, and duties pertaining thereto, I direct that you be invested with the hood appropriate to this degree. Congratulations. Crew. 
you may sit. And I wanna, I, I knew I had to do it in that order because I knew that the graduates of the School of Social Work would show their support. There's so much about you guys that I love in terms of that support. So you know what we're gonna do over here, right guys? All right, Dean Crew. In the School of Social Work, the candidates will be presented by Sandra Edmonds Crew, PhD, Dean. Will the candidates for the degrees from the School of Social Work please stand? Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Social Work, I have the high honor to present these candidates to receive the degrees of Master of Social Work, Master of Social Work, Master of Public Health, Master of Social Work, Master of Divinity, Master of Social Work, Master of Business Administration, and Doctor of Philosophy in Social Work. I want to assure you that we all heard it. Candidates for the degrees of Master of Social Work, Master of Social Work, Master of Public Health, Master of Social Work, Master of Divinity, Master of Social Work, Master of Business Administration, and Doctor of Philosophy in social work, upon recommendation of the dean and faculty, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Howard University, I do now confer upon you your degree. With all the rights, privileges, and duties pertaining thereto, I direct that you be invested with the hood appropriate to these degrees. Congratulations. as I turn the program back over to the deans, let me just say one last thing. What you just witnessed, I think, is a small demonstration of your interconnectedness and why your support of one another is going to be critical. And I hope that every single day you're reminded of that and you slow yourself down to look for assistance and to also celebrate your fellow human beings. Amplify everybody's humanity. Congratulations. President Frederick, Provost Uta, thank you. And now we're at one of the times that you all have been waiting for, that chance to walk across the stage. And so we're going to start with the School of Social Work. And, and the presentation of graduates. Dean Crew, if you'll join me, please. Provost Wuta, thank you. Jessica Agbar.
Chelsea Anderson. Tony Manicole. Joseph Perry, the second. Lillian Baker. Denise Robertson. Joshua Rohr. Leela Sua. Dina Charles. David Belton the second. Madrea Taylor. Melissa Davis. Markayla Warren. Taylor Watts. Charlene Downs. Larry Evans. Chinwi Ezekoli.
Devanya Flight. Jadicia Reiter. Christopher Akike. Angela Harrison Michener. Olorimi Agabachi. Ofioma Ijoma. Clark Jameson. Jasmine Lamboy. Shatera Landrum. Alexis Lee. Cortez Lee Carey. Alexandra Mack. Jonice Pilgrim. Noella Muller. Nira Nathan.
Tasia Colon Martin. Deandra Cotton. Sierra Ford. Fatima Samura. Naja Franklin. Sierra Lucas. Ajua Odura. Thank you. Diane Hawkins. Congratulations. James Dickerson, Jr. Francia Marin Gutierrez. Ebony Milliner.
Oh, wasn't that exciting? And there's, and there's lots more to come. So, will you please uh, help me in welcoming our Student Council Association President, Tony Manigault, please. Good afternoon, President Frederick, Provost Wuta, Dean Crew, Dean Jackson, and the faculty and students of the School of Social Work and the College of Dentistry. I also want to welcome family and friends who are sharing this moment with us from across the country and the world. It has been my honor to serve as the president of the Student Council Association this year. I want to thank those who served with me this year as well. Julianita Mitty, Oliani Mendez, Simone Ruskamp, Leela Swa, and Brianna Robinson. I would also like to thank our supportive advisor, Dr. Ford. Let me start by saying, we're here. We made it. <laughs> I'm so proud of each and every one of you. We did this. We mastered it. This, this, this pandemic has brought a lot of unrest and uncertainty, and uncertainty into our lives, um, but through it all, we've persevered and successfully completed this degree. Although it was challenging to fight through the Zoom fatigue, we did it, colleagues. And because of this, we are better prepared to serve in our profession. I'm proud of my colleagues who've already taken the licensure test and passed it. Our cohort pulled, through, pulled everyone through, and personally, I looked forward to waking up to everyone's encouraging words in the group chat to get me through the day, push me through fields, and to get me through every class. Lord knows we struggled on Zoom, but we didn't. Couldn't have gotten through this last year without all of you, and I know I speak for everyone when I say I love my Howard Social Work family. I want to thank my family and friends who continued to encourage me through times I was struggling and unsure of myself. I would also like to thank my pro the professors and faculty who continuously helped and provided support to each and every student graduating today. I'm honored to congratulate everyone on this day. I love you all, and I hope you are as proud of yourselves as I am of you. Congratulations to the Howard Prepared Social Workers of the Class of 2020 and the Class of 2021. Thank you, Ms. Manigault. Manigault. We now have uh, our next piece I want to introduce Folks from the College of Dentistry. And, and, and you all know that this is the time for the presentation of the Doctor of Dental Surgery. So will you join me in welcoming Dr. Donna Grant Mills and Dr. Candace Mitchell. Presenting the Certificate in Dental Hygiene. Vanmala Sharma. Vamala Sharma, the Department of Dental Hygiene Humanitarian Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Zara Zafa. the Howard University Student American Dental Hygienist Association Leadership Award. Congratulations. 
presenting the doctor of dental surgery. Post doctor, Dr. Asia Danielle Henry. Dr. Pervin Michaud. <laughs> Dr. Brianna McCray. Two. Dr. Brianna McCray, the Orthodontic Postdoctoral Award in Biomechanics and the Orthodontic Department Award. Congratulations. Presenting the doctor, dental surgery, Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens, the, uh, the American College of Dentist Award, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate, the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award. Congratulations. Sunil Hattak. Mayim Helani. Tehran Errol. Isa Mohammed Abu El Hawa. <laughs> Silvat Adil. Two Silvat Wasim Adil, the American Association of Endodontics Award. Congratulations. Lisa Marie Agni. Two, Lisa Marie Agni. A certificate of recognition presented to the student demonstrating highest standards in prevention and in infection control and prevention and the Howard University College of Dentistry Evening Clinic Award. Congratulations. Daryl Allen. To Daryl Allen, the to Daryl Allen, the Lily M. Mitchell Memorial Award. Congratulations, Franklin Anya. Maha Elzebeer. Ariel Banks. Two, Ariel Banks, the International College of Dentists Award. 
the American Association of Dental Public Health Award, the Christian Medical Dental Association Helping Hands Award, the American Student Government Association Award, and a certificate of rec recognition for providing high standards of infection prevention and control. Congratulations. John Atere. John Atier, the American Association of Orthodontists Award. Congratulations. Okay, Chupu, Anya Mele. K. Bartley. Two, Ashley K. Bartley, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratu congratulations. Brianna Marjorie Benbo. Two, Brianna. Two, Brianna Bimbo, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratulations. <laughs> Natasha Barucha. <laughs> Tanya Budala. Justine Graham. Two, Justine Graham. The Department of Oral Diagnosis and Radiology Emergency Award. Congratulations. Marquia Camper. Two, Marquia, two, Marquia Camper. The Lily and Mitchell Memorial Award. Congratulations. Priscilla Carpenter. Two, Priscilla Carpenter. The Howard University College of Dentistry Evening Clinic Award. A certificate of recognition for providing highest standards of infection prevention and control. The American Association of Endodontists Award. The H. Norton Duhaney Award in Fixed Prostodontics. Congratulations. Napri Dillon. Jermel Jacqueline Dolney. presented to the student demonstrating outstanding infection control practices. Congratulations. Chantal Dobert. Daraksha Tara Fatmi. Two, Farah Darak, to, to Darakshan Farah Fatmi, the American Student Government Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratulations. Brandy 
Evans. Two, Brandy Evans, the American Student Government Association Award, the E. Preston Lee Award, and the Award of Distinction from the Department of Prosthodontics. Congratulations. Jennifer Franklin. Lee Goodlow. Two, Lee Goodlow. The Quintessence Award for Research. The American Association of Dental Public Health Award. The International College of Dentists Award. The DC Dental Society Award. The Department of Prosthodontics Award of Distinction. The American Student Dental Association Award. And the American Student Government Association honor cords and certificate. Congratulations. Ashkan Harindi. Amanda Harrington. Two, Amanda Harrington, the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons Award, the Temporomandibular Disorder Occlusal Appliance Award, an award of distinction from the Department of Prosthodontics and the American Student Government Association Honor Courts and Certificate. Congratulations. Sunitha N. Henderson. Two, Sinitha Henderson. Two, Sinitha Henderson, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry Award and the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. And, oh, there's more, there's more. The District of Columbia Dental Society Award and a Certificate of Recognition for Practicing the Highest Standards of Infection Prevention and Control. Congratulations. Farah Khan. Two, Farah Khan, the American Student Government Association Honor Courts and Certificate. Congratulations. Narmeen Hedrazipa. Travis Kimball. Two. Two, Travis. Two, Travis Kimball, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratulations. Imelda Kwachiaka. Yuting Lao. Two, Yuting Lao, the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology Award, the Percy A. Fitzgerald Memorial Award, and the Northeastern Society of Periodontists Award. Congratulations. Zora Madad. Bobakar Malik. Mujahidil Mahmoudi. 
two, Mujahida Mahmoudi, the Pierre Fouchard Acad Academy Award. Congratulations. Parisa Malik. Two, Parisa Malik, the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons Award. Congratulations. Cassandra Moran. Two, Cassandra Moran, the Department of Restorative Dentistry Award, the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology Award, an Outstanding Award in Commendation for Superior Volunteerism, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratulations. Chasati Mohammed. Two, Chastity Mohammed, the Georgetta Manning Cox Dental Outreach Award, and the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratulations. Parween Nurman. Don Cheng Nguyen. Virtue Omere. Kenichi Precious Okani. Two, Kenichi Okani, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate, the Department of Oral Diagnosis and Radiology Award, the American Academy of Periodontology Award, a Certificate of Recognition for Highest Standards of Infection Control Practices. Congratulations. Virginia Perez. Jillian Palin. Two. To Jillian Palin, the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award. A Certificate of Recognition for High Standards of Infection Control Practices and the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratulations. Shaban Herbaez. Jeremy Pittman. Two, Jeremy Pittman, the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award. Congratulations. Aisha Kazi. Two, Aisha Kazi. The I. Langston Manley Award. Congratulations. Erica Rivera.
Ashley Richburg. Two, Ashley Richburg, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificates and a Certificate of Recognition for High Standards of Infection Prevention and Control. Congratulations. Siobhan Rodin. Muhammad Mobin Raza. Sienna Romano. Martiz Sanders. Two, Martiz Sanders, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certi Certificate. Congratulations. <laughs> Zanab Sharif. J. Paul, sing. Janae Stanley Smith. Two, Janae Stanley Smith, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate, the Whitmix Corporation Certificate, and the Eleanor J. Bushy AAWD Senior Student Award. Congratulations. Ade Tony, Ade Yamisi Thomas. To Ade Tanumi Thomas. The Frank M. Laparola Reed Memorial Award for Oral Surgery. The Certificate of Recognition for High Standards of Infection Control Practices. The International Congress of Oral Implantologists Pre-Doctoral Student Award. And the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate. Congratulations. Quadarius. Tony. Two, Quadarius Tony, the Washington Dental Studio Award. The American Academy of Aesthetic Dentistry Award. Congratulations. Nancy Trang. Two, Nancy Trang. An award of distinction from the Department of Prosthodontics, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate, the Quintessence Award in Periodontic, and the Dean's Award. Congratulations. Ryan Turner. Two, Ryan Turner. The American Student Government Association Honor Courts and Certificate. Congratulations. William Warren III. Two, William Warren, the Dr. Thomas Jeter Memorial Service Award. The American Student Government Association Honor Courts and Certificates and a Distinguished Service Award in Community Outreach. Congratulations. Saida Amina Zaim.
Daniel Young. Two, Daniel Young, the Christian Medical Dental Association Helping Hands Award, the Dr. E. Preston Lee Award, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate, and the Excellence in Special Care Dentistry Award. Congratulations. Brooke Tawit Yerethu. Claire Wayson. Two, Claire Wayson. An award of distinction from the Department of Prostodontics. A certificate of recognition for providing high standards of infection control and prevention. Uh, the American College of Prostodontists and the DC Dental Society Awards. Congratulations. Dentistry Student Council President, Mr. Stevens. Good afternoon, everyone. First off, thank you, President Frederick, as well as Provost Wuta, Dean Jackson, and all the esteemed faculty, staff, students, and residents. I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak as the College of Dentistry Student Council President. <laughs> Through the halls of the College of Dentistry, many legends and community servants have walked. It is no easy feat to reach this milestone. The steps that we have taken all follow those of giants. We have received the armamentarium necessary for preparation as life will take on a whole new meaning. And a special welcome to all the family and friends here to celebrate this occasion. And of course, the class of 2021. This is a grand and auspicious day that has finally arrived. It has been a long and meandering way, but through the struggles and the pain, the sleepless nights, we are here. As such, we should take pride in knowing that we have completed this journey. This is a celebration of this milestone and is one that must be recognized. So I want you to take a moment to give yourself a round of applause, a pat on the back, or whatever you need to celebrate this moment. This is a joyous time and one that will not come again. Now I want you to take a second to look at your classmates who have transitioned from an acquaintance to your friend and now to your family. <laughs> Reflect on all the times that you have been together, the times that we have laughed and where we have cried, where we debated and when we began to love one another. Hold on to these memories because when we go our separate ways, it will be those times that we remember and they will help us bring us through whatever obstacles we may face outside of these hallowed halls. Take confidence in knowing your entire Howard family is there cheering you on. It goes without saying that a lot of who and how far we have come is because of the support and love we have received from our families who sit here watching this. I know that if it was not for my family's constant encouragement, 
care and love, I would not be where I am today. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Katrina, Carrie, Jordan, and you too, KK, for helping me to get here and for our future as well. I hope that you each will take a moment and thank your family for all that they have done and to help bring you to this point. So go ahead and take that moment right now. So on this day, we have chosen a faculty member to hood us, acknowledging those graduating with a doctoral degree, also symbolizing the passing of the guard from one generation to the next generation. I find it apropos that we recognize the significance of this ceremony. It is because of those who came before us that we are able to stand where we are today. Each doctor stood where we stand now, with a mentor who entrusted them with the title doctor. We now stand at this precipice of the same stature, realizing that it is soon our turn to reach back and help bring those aspiring to be doctors to this same front. It is our opportunity now to become the alum that we speak so highly of. There is a quote that says, you have two hands, one for helping yourself and the other for helping others. I urge you to allow these words to resonate with you. The years we have spent honing and refining our manual dexterity and clinical decision-making skills, use them. Use them to heal. Use them to teach. Use them to give back to your community. Shoot, use them to buy some more sensors, okay? I challenge you as the sons and daughters of Howard University to not only be the torchbearers of knowledge, but to also share your education and help enlighten others. It is time for us to do our part in raising the next generation of dentists. So although our time here at the College of Dentistry is coming to a close, let us not forget where it was that we gained some of our lifetime friends and family. To continue the legacy of love for one another, and pride for HUCD. With that, go on to transcend all realms and achieve the greater heights that I know we all can attain. I am so happy that I was able to take this four-year journey with you all and to serve as your student council president for the 2020-2021 school year. With much love, onward and upward, thank you all. Mr. Matthew Stevens, we'll remember that name, Dr. Stevens. Thank you. <laughs> we, we now are moving on to the next part of our program, and that is uh, to hear from uh, Dean Jackson, who will be uh, talking a bit about uh, her remarks to each of you. So please join me in welcoming Dean Jackson back to the podium. Okay, now I hope your tassels are to the left, because you have graduated. So I want you to open up your, your um, diploma covers and take out the pledge. It's time to take the dentist pledge, and when you do, please stand. and read along with me. I, I say your name, as a member of the dental profession, come on, read it, 
shall keep this pledge and these stipulations, that I understand and accept my primary responsibility is to my patients, and I shall dedicate myself to render to the best of my ability the highest standard of oral health care and to maintain a relationship of respect and confidence. Therefore, let all come to me safe in the knowledge that their total health and well-being are my first considerations, that I shall accept the responsibility that as a professional, my competence rests on continuing the attainment of knowledge and skill in the arts and sciences of dentistry, that I acknowledge my obligation to support and sustain the honor and integrity of the profession and to conduct myself in all endeavors such that I shall merit the respect of patients, colleagues, and my community. I further commit myself to the betterment of my community for the benefit of all society, that I shall faithfully observe the principles of ethics and code of professional conduct set forth by the profession. All this I pledge with pride in my commitment to the profession and the public it serves. Welcome to the profession. Congratulations to the classes of 2021 from the College of Dentistry and School of Social Work and to your families who have supported you along this journey. To the excellent faculty and staff, a special thanks to each of you for preparing our outstanding classes of 21 to reach this milestone in their careers. You may be seated, I'm sorry. <laughs> Today, the professionals in social work and dentistry have come together to share this special occasion. We hope that you continue to collaborate in your professional careers to address the needs of our communities, especially the underserved populations. You all have been prepared to meet the challenges of the world, fight against injustice and inequality, and to, the level, and to level the playing field through excellence in truth and service. As the world begins to gain control of the virus with the availability of the vaccine, you must continue to lead as you have been prepared to do. The world needs your expertise, creativity, skill, and leadership. You are well prepared to change the world, to improve our futures in healthcare, social consciousness, justice, equality, and inclusion of all people. Yes, we have had to negotiate a pandemic, but nothing will prevent us from doing our life's work. In dentistry, we have always had to adapt our practice to infection control protocols to keep everyone safe. Our new normal requires that we take additional safety precautions to continue to provide and service to others. The value of this Howard University education is second to none. There are many broad shoulders upon which you stand. We as alumni are very proud of our institution and very proud of you because we know you are capable. Always remember to uphold your integrity and your reputation because you have chosen a highly respected profession and you carry the reputation of this great institution and all of its alumni on your shoulders. Also, remember that it is just the very beginning of a lifelong learning career. You are our future leaders, and as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, and I quote, of all the forms of inequality, injustice in healthcare is the most shocking and inhumane. You must be the champions and advocates for healthcare for all. I wish you all nothing but success in your, and all the best in your future endeavors. I know that you will be successful, but remember us, visit often, Give back and lift up those who are striving to be where you are. Keep striving for excellence. Happy Mother's Day to everyone and Godspeed. Now wave to the audience and give yourselves and your families a round of applause 
to all the loved ones who sacrificed and supported you through this journey. Thank you. Let's celebrate. Let me hear it from you all. Thank you, Dr. Stevens, for those rousing uh, remarks. To my colleagues in dentistry, I am just so pleased we had this opportunity to be with you today. Thank you, Ms. Manigault, for your charge to our social work graduates. I have appreciated your leadership and your support in making the remote education a positive experience. I thank you for your leadership. You have been partners in the educational experience in our school. I would also like to thank our Alumni Association, who swab, under the leadership of Ms. Jazlyn Northcross, for the extraordinary support provided to the school. Who swab's financial support and mentorship have been phenomenal. And to our donors and supporters, you rightfully claim a role in the success of our graduating class. And what can I say about the School of Social Work team of faculty, staff, administrators? They show up and they make a difference. Let's show them some love. Now, I would like to lead our social work graduates with the following pledge based upon the National Association of Social Work Code of Ethics. As I read each statement, I ask you to say, Ashe. I pledge extraordinary service to help people in need and to address social problems. Ashe. I pledge to aggressively challenge social injustice in all of its forms. Ashe. I pledge to respect the inherent dignity and worth of the person. Ashe. I pledge to recognize the central importance of human relationships. Ashe. I pledge to behave in a trustworthy manner. Ashe. I pledge to practice with my, within my area of competence and develop and enhance my professional expertise. Ashe. I pledge to support the profession of social work through upholding its values of service, social justice, dignity and worth of the person, importance of human relationships, integrity, and competence. Ashe. I pledge to always, to always embrace the principles of the Howard University School of Social Work Black Perspective to ensure the quality of life for all we serve. Ashe. As you take this pledge, I am reminded of a powerful statement made by Dr. John Jacob, alumnus, esteemed donor, and Howard University Board of Trustee Emeritus. He says, in this America, every day, you have to wake up and get into the fight for social justice. Every day, that is your responsibility. I know that we can count on the School of Social Work and the College of Dentistry graduates to fulfill that pledge. Every end is a new beginning. As we close today, I want to pause again and celebrate each of you. While some may have found it a bit unusual for the programs to be shared, social work and dentistry, my colleague and I celebrated this opportunity. On the one hand, there is the focus on interprofessional collegiality, as President Frederick said. We are heirs of two great Howard champions. Dr. Annabelle Burns Lindsay, founding dean of the School of Social Work and the first female academic dean at Howard University and the region. And Dr. Jean Sinkford, first female dean of dentistry of Howard and in the country. These two trailblazers 
both African-American women set the bar high. Dean Jackson and I follow in their footsteps, and we are confident that you will carry forth their torch of excellence. While our degrees carry different titles, both professions are committed to serving humanity. I am painfully reminded of the tragedy of Diamante Driver and his death from a toothache in February 2007. Both of our professions recognize that this death was preventable. We collectively recognize that broken systems disrupt families and call for us as professionals to look beyond our individual titles and embrace patient-centered care. This means that we work as a team to tear down the barriers that deny access to quality health, including oral health, and mental health. That is our responsibility. This means that we take a collective stand against social injustice, whether it's in the dentist chair, the therapist chair, or a chair in the community or the boardroom. We take a stand. We engage in interdisciplinary collaboration. We have the opportunity to reduce, to replace broken systems with compassion that dictates the importance of starting where the client is. And we provide culturally intelligent care. We owe no less to individuals like Diamante Driver and his family who paid the ultimate price for broken systems. Congratulations, graduates. We are counting on you to do great things. I know that you will. I send you forth with the following favorite quote of mine from my shero, Harriet Tubman. Every dream begins with a dreamer. Thank you, graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, for choosing Howard to make your dreams come true. And when your dreams come through, the dreams of many others will also be achieved. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Krug. On behalf of all of the folks that have helped to make this a uh, success, uh, I'd like to first start with uh, asking Dr. Jackson if she can come forward. Thank you. I didn't want this program to end without thanking the, the wonderful team that put this whole program together. Um, Dr. Crosby from Social Work, Dr. Salter and Dr. Butler from the College of Dentistry, all the staff, the provost, the president, President Frederick, President uh, Provost Wuta, who allowed this to happen. And I just want to say that they did a, a fantastic job, and I'm really, really proud of how it turned out and happy to you know, be here today with you all and um, celebrate this weekend. Congratulations. Well, we've come almost to the end. Yeah, right. You've been able to see and do, and you are ready to go forth and serve. And so I'd like to say thank you to each of you for being able to be here and to be part of this program. Uh, I also thank each of my colleagues here that are here on this stage, but also those that are behind the scenes that help to make this possible. I thank the production crew who made this live streaming possible, Free Roads Communications, also thank Mr. Rivers, Ms. Bullock, Ms. Allen, Mr. Walton, Ms. Drayton, probably some I've forgotten. But nonetheless, thank you to everyone that's made this possible for us to be here this afternoon. And so we are at just about the end where we all are bison. We're all part of this Howard University family. And so we're ready to sing, right? Or actually listen. 
And so uh, is this a good place to, uh, to sort of do that? And so we'll all uh, listen and sing, maybe a little silently, our alma mater <laughs> as it plays. So thank you all for coming. Uh, we will have an order of exit, please. And uh, we will have the right team going forward to be able to serve our communities, not just locally, but nationally and around the world. Thank you all again. Sit out this way to the, this side, or this way, this side, please. Both sides. 